That's what the teachers would say. When I was a girl, I wanted to work with unicorns. It was a win. Come now, don't be stingy. I beg your pardon, but would you mind helping out an old woman? Why did I never learn how to swim? Going for a swim? Goodness, no. Though I'm beginning to think I really should learn how to swim. Can't very well be liaison to the mer people if I don't know how to swim. You're a liaison to the mer people? Well, not technically, no. At least not yet. The position doesn't actually exist at the moment, but I have a plan to change that. I'm Nerida, by the way. Nerida Roberts. We didn't officially meet, but we dueled in the Cross Swans Club. Yes, of course. Good to see you again. And you. You seem quite interested in mer people. I am. And they're as misunderstood and disregarded by wizard kind as goblins and centaurs are. I feel that if goblins and centaurs have liaison officers at the Ministry, then the mer people should have one too. I'm impressed. I think reaching out to the Mer people is a grand idea. You do? Oh, thank you. Of course, I haven't exactly done anything just yet. I presented them with a gift a few weeks ago, and they wanted to leave me one as well, in one of their caves. Reciprocity and an offer to visit. I tried telling them I couldn't swim, but I'm afraid that bit got lost in translation. Mermish really is tricky. Well, I can swim and could help you if you'd like. You'd really do that? Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. The last thing I want is for them to think I shunned their gift. Diplomacy is a delicate dance. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think you can dive down to their cave from just there in the water. I can't wait to hear about what you find. One day soon, I'll see for myself. I just know it. The Mer people really leave Nurida an artifact. Revelion. Lumos. Kunfrigo. Lum. Now then. I'll need you to come with me. Now for the rest of you. Confringo! Lumos! Lumos! about this.
Your gift from the Mer people was exactly where they said it would. Oh, that's wonderful news! I was so worried I'd left it too long and they'd seen it as a slight. Our relationship with them is already so tenuous. I quite like the idea of an authentic Mermish artifact. I'm tempted to keep it myself. What? Why would you do that? That gift was a gesture of goodwill, a symbol of hope. I was going to show it to the Ministry. I know, I know. I was only joking. It's all yours. Oh, good. You scared me for a moment. May I see it? Merlin's beard. It's marvellous. I'm going to show it to everyone, including the Ministry. Should I hand deliver or send by owl? Thank you again so much. You may have just helped improve relations between wizard kind and mer people for decades to come. I can't wait to study this. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Ah. Revelio. Accio. Just one more gobstone.
Revelio. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. That's the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. I hope you've had more luck than I did tracking down. Hello, Zenobia. I found all your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However, did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? I'm afraid I've decided to keep them. That'll teach you to stink up your classmates. What? You'd keep my prize collection for yourself? <laughs> I'm only teasing. Of course you can have them. Oh, thank Merlin. You had me worried there. Now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. I'm sure they'd be willing to play after the trouble spent getting them back. It's a fine idea. Isn't it? Oh, we'll have so much fun together laughing as all the losers get sprayed, which won't include me. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. Rebellion. This cannot possibly be. Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Nice to see you again. Thank you for asking. And I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You might recall that I was trying to cast non verbally when we met in the common room. Well, I mastered that. And now I've taken to creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation, because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. That sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it that way. 
I'd collect the books and remove the charm myself. Except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around. So she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. I suppose I could help, if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. I'm going to have to use Akio to get to those books. Got it. Only four more to go. Akio! Revelio. Revelio It's an outrage. No one makes a fool of Ferdinand Octavius Pratt. Revelio. Rebellion. Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief. Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Unless you want your classmates to know how you really feel about them, you might reward me for my time. Oh, you're not at all who I thought you to be. I wouldn't do that to you, Cressida. Only trying to teach you to be a little more careful. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now, to work out where I went wrong. Perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Thank goodness some people are trustworthy. Certainly wouldn't want anyone but me reading my diary. How many letters do you think come in and out of Hogwarts every day? Ugh, what am I missing? Hello, I, I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. 
I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Do come and find me if you stumble on something and lose something that solves the mystery. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. This looks like the location from the painting. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Do you suppose back to <laughs> I knew there was a connection. I should tell the Nora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I'm afraid I can't tell you, Lenora. Surely you jest. I am only joking. I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. So is a meat, although he does tend to overexplain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth! I should have seen that. Rebellion!